Okay, what's going on, guys? And welcome to a brand new episode of Energize. Today we have two very special guests on the show. We have YouTubers, concrete creators, funny people. We best known as Farmer Michael and Kathleen. We have Steve and Sinead. How are you doing? Hi. Hello. Yes, How are you all keeping? Thank you for having us. I hate Jesus. the term content creator. Oh, I hate oh. it. Well, yeah, that's what we are. <laughs> Yeah, they're not. <laughs> Someone calls me an influencer and I want to hit them with a sword. It's just like... <laughs> oh, well, I left that one out. In fairness, give me a break. Do you know how hard it is to introduce all the stuff that you guys do? <laughs> That's a fair point. I prefer professional gobshite. <laughs> okay, professional gobshite, Steve and the lovely Sinead. <laughs> That's better, that's better. How are you all keeping? <laughs> really, really good. How's your social isolation going? I hope I hope you've been keeping your distances. Uh, we well, ha- not from each other, like, from but from other. everyone no. else. So yeah. that's tricky. It's hard. It's hard enough, and it's it's just a weird situation, I think. Yeah, and yeah. when you have like fifteen degrees, sixteen degrees, it's like, uh, you know, it's even worse. Yeah, everyone's going to get out and put their factor fifty on. Yeah, no. yeah, and some people are, which is more stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People live yeah. in idiots. You guys are obviously based in Galway, is it? Uh, would you probably be well known around there? Will people be coming up to ask you for photographs and stuff, even though this is all happening? Yeah, they yeah. do, and you're kind of like, are you sure? Yeah, um, you're kind of like a bit awkward. Like some girl come over two days in a row with her kids to me, you know. Like, uh, yeah. You know, it's just kind of like. But I think we're lucky that obviously we're staying away from places that would normally be busy, and they're not even busy anymore. Yeah. So it's kind of alright. Like if you go into town, all you see now is because town is empty of for lack of a better term normal people <laughs> all you see is the whack that's that's all that's in town now so you see the mad people so yeah. and guys tell us this how did you guys get started and what you're doing like everyone sort of knows what, what you're at now but how did it all start um it was all by accident um i'm just waving at my uncle <laughs> <laughs> um even did it before um we kind of joined together um because he's always did this like fake accent as a farmer like west Ireland farmer and one night he was messing like with his phone and he just did it with his brother and stuff and i think you had it on your phone for like ages yeah and then i threw it up on facebook and it kind of just it just grew from there i think it exploded initially because people didn't know whether it was real or not yeah, and I didn't like that kind of. But I suppose a lot of people still today think it's actually real, and they get angry when I don't talk like that in real life, or when I'm like not a vicious homophobic <laughs> racist. <really>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're. <a, laughs> Christ, thank God, I'm not like that. You know what I mean? So. Um, and then they kind of like got more. Or that video got more successful, and Stephen's brother was like. No, no, thank you. Yeah. I don't <laughs> what, what, what year? What, in, do you know what year this was? About five years ago now, it's yeah, a... about five, five and a half years ago. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, so in the video initially, Michael was talking about his wife Kathleen, so he was like, "Why don't you just be Kathleen?" And I was like, "Okay," and it just kind of worked. Yeah, that's why I wrote <laughs> you into it. Yeah. Were you uh were you going out long before this all exploded, or were you? Or um, how long? No, not very long. We just kind of just dived into everything. Yeah, I was looking for a victim, so I was like, <laughs> yeah, I'll go out with this girl and make her happy. <laughs> so you're on the journey, you've been on the, the whole journey together. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's been a crazy journey too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really crazy. Like obviously, so, Shane, did you support Everton beforehand? Me? Yeah. Um, she met me. This is the thing that yeah. annoys me, that I've grown up supporting Everton. My family are from Liverpool. <laughs> And like everyone's all like, you know, you don't have to support Everton just because your boyfriend does. And I'm like, okay, yeah. he doesn't have to support it because I do. Initially, I was a pure Republican minded person. I was there, why don't you support the Premiership? We have our own football teams. Let's support the League of Ireland. Stop yeah. being a fucking idiot. You know, well, so. I've been bet black and blue for a good term of colours. That, that was good. That was good. That was good. Evertonian since I was a child. So it's all my fault. But your dad's Who's, who's your all-time oh, favourite Everton player? My all time, I love Seamus Coleman. I just think, obviously, with the opportunity of having been Sligo Rovers, which is very close to us, and he's just, just being a, gen- a genuine guy, 
yeah. it's unreal um but i always i know it's really generic and cliche but i have like i love dixie dean because he was the player that my grandfather used to follow around um matches in liverpool and stuff so Stark. i always have that wasn't he, wasn't he Sligo rovers <laughs> as well he went to Sligo rovers then after which is kind of cool that him and james coleman had that connection even with that james coleman is a change but have you ever noticed how big his tongue is? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's just, he is a massive pro- I don't know, maybe it helps him or something. I don't know, maybe it adds weight to his defence. Um, Another player <laughs> though, Lee Carsley, absolutely lovely. Um, We did like... Uh, lovely had a hair of him. What? No, it's been sarcastic. <laughs> the Irish Thomas Grabson, as one would say. No, but we did like this um, audience with Lee Carsley kind of thing. It was like last year, wasn't it? Where we had to like interview him and stuff. And he's actually, he's such a shy fella. God yeah. love him, but he is so nice. And he really, really, like, and really, really nice. So it was nice to be able to kind of have a relationship with him, with the Irish connection and the Everton connection. And I was interviewing him as Farmer Michael. So like... And he was terrified. He was terrified. This is when Nick McCarthy like, just came back to Ireland, the Republic of Ireland. Yeah. Yeah. Where was that? Yeah. Where was that again? In Ormskirk in Liverpool. Ormskirk. Ormskirk. Yeah. And then, like, obviously, obviously, right now, your like your Facebook page, your Twitter, your Instagram, uh, like your YouTube are all absolutely blown up. Um, like, at what stage did you get to when you were like, "Wow, this is all really like kicking off." Um. I'm not really sure. I think when people like when theaters in the UK yeah. started like or just theaters in contacting general. us, going like, w- but especially in the UK because it was like, oh, we'd love to have you come over and do a show. And then I suppose at that point we were kind of like, all right, there's something big here. Like if people in the UK want us to come over, and even venues in the US and things asking us, would we do shows and stuff? And it was like, fucking hell. Yeah. Like I, I've a, I've a, like completely irrational fear of flying. So, like, I get the ferry over to England and I'm going to have to push myself to go to America one of the days, so, mm. if I can. Yeah. That's, the, like, that's, like, so cool to hear because uh, we have had, like, Al Forn on the show, we have had Darren Conway on the show, and, like, we've asked, why, why do, do, do they think that there's not more, like, Irish people putting themselves out there and making, like, bigger, con- uh, like, content? Uh, what, why, did you, why, did you, why would you think that yourself? Because, like, you obviously started out in Galway, which um, most people, like, most pe- other people are here in Dublin doing it. Um, Probably the begrudgery of the whole yeah. country, I think. Why it meant so much to us to be able to sell out like hundreds of theatres all over the UK is because they don't care whether they like you or not. They're just very polite about it and are happy to yeah. see two people doing well. But I think in this country, like it's that generic thing that everyone hates Bono. Like Bono, Bono's fine. Like we just hate him because he's uh, successful. He's a Fairness, no, but we hate anyone of our own who does well, and I it's just kind of thing when you're putting out comedy videos, especially people like people are really, really weird. Out you're thinking around with new characters, and they put on a new character, and they'll go like, "This is shit. Bring back Michael." You do a Michael video, and the same person that comments, "I'm getting sick of this Michael." And you pop up. No other characters. No, no, no. We're way too unnecessarily opinionated as a nation, and it's, it doesn't help anyone. But I'm opinionated back. Like, like I'm a prick online. Yeah. Like, I'll be the first to admit it. A lot of people like that do memes and things. Are like, oh, we won't do any about him because he'll attack us and shit. And I'm like, well, fuck you. If you're attacking me online, I'm going to attack you back. I don't give a shit. You know what I mean? Because sometimes you just, usually you'd look past it. But other times you might be feeling depressed or really low. And you're like, no, I'm going to go through you now tonight. You know what I mean? I don't care. You know what I mean? But make them stop those. Things. Yeah, makes, yeah, she makes <laughs> me stop and they eventually stop anyway. So... But like, yeah, it's geez, just you get yourself fairly hung up on people's comments online as well. And I just don't understand if you don't like something, why don't you just like unfollow or unsubscribe or not watch yeah, it? We have this thing that we say that like I could never imagine ourselves or anyone we know, like my mum or dad, my siblings or each other, going online actively writing like you're shit. I yeah. hope you die. Like what kind of light like what does that do for your life? Yeah. I just I don't yeah. understand. Are just incomprehensible and homophobic rants spelled really, really badly. Like that's worse. If you're gonna attack mm. me, at least have the grammar to back it up. Then I might. But then they you. to like, you're absolutely shit. I hope you die. And you're like, why would you write that? And they're like, oh, how can you not take constructive criticism? Yeah, like, yeah, how is yeah, that yeah. Constructive? I thought you were a comedian. Because well, you're still breathing, obviously. Yeah, like just. <laughs> 
I like I was getting like someone was slagging me for it. And I I remember thinking to myself, they'd probably write something like, "Ha ha, your mother's just died," and I go like, "That's very rude." And they go, "You're a comedian. Can you not take it?" You know what I mean? It's like, what? Oh, sorry. <laughs> At oh, first, they are not really a. Com- I'm not really a comedian. I more describe myself as a, a character. Yeah. Sketch man. Comedian, sketch Performer. Man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, so yeah. you know what I mean. It's because it's because you're sort of doing a lot but of like, things. It's hard to just pinpoint it on one thing. You know what I mean? Most people yeah. like you could like be like, oh, they're from TikTok or they're from your YouTube or yeah. you know what I mean, or they're yeah. from Facebook. It's you're sort of doing everything, so it's hard to really put you in a in a like in a bracket. Yeah, and I think because we, like, as you know, and if you've seen any of our our videos related to other people that do Irish sketches. There is topics we'd touch that they would not fucking go near. Yeah. And I've always said mean? that from the beginning. Like if you have an influence and if you have a stage to a platform. A platform, you, you have to use it. If not, it's kind of a cowardly way out. Like I we done videos about abortion. Like we done videos about and like I see my likes going up and down the page. I lose up controversial and I lose like two thousand likes overnight. But it's like but you gain them back with clever people. Yeah, you can go down the hard. safe route and I could have a million on Facebook now, but what's the safe route? What what does that mean? Just like doing doing videos where you mm. don't like I people go like stay out of religion, stay out of politics. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Runs away. Jeez, that's some haircut. How are you keeping that haircut so fresh in these times? Well, I will let you know, my best friend, Rachel Perry, who clips horses for a living, got the horse. <laughs> yeah. And did it for him. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> Only the sides mind. Yeah, well, just the sides. Yeah, yeah. It's great. Uh, but yeah, but sure, that's, that's a serious mane on top. That is. Yeah. Better big, than my own horse's mane. Yeah, it's a big lump. <laughs> it used to be longer. It used to come like down to there. That's why I tied it up like yeah. 17 times. Like so. Yeah, you're very noticeable. The, th- the thing is, right, you guys are like doing something that like myself and Ross have noticed that like you're actually like doing gigs like I know in England and you say stuff about America, but like not, not other people are really doing that bar maybe like Al Horn. Um, where exactly yeah. would be like your core audience from? Liverpool. Liverpool, definitely. Yeah. Um, and from both sides. And um, well, I suppose all kind of Liverpool and the surrounding areas. So like you've run Corn, you've Manchester, Sheffield, all that kind of area, Southport. Blackpool, yeah. all them. It's like all the kind two of top cities. The, north. the two top cities that would follow us would be Liverpool, Dublin. Yeah, they're the they're the two. If I look at my like Instagram <laughs> stats, or and a huge, stats. huge um market in Scotland as well. Um, a lot in Edinburgh and massive amount in Glasgow. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah I've, 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 and I've also seen you've done like a lot Sorry of like, charity work as well, as well in huh? with Everton. I've seen you've done some charity yeah, work yeah. as well. <laughs> in everything in the community which is amazing because like I've never heard of any other football club you know in Ireland or England that have such a huge involvement with charity and things like that yeah. so you know they have their own like they're building a mental health hospital yeah a mental Excellent. health hospital they have their own school in Liverpool that holds like hundreds of students that could not get their schooling done properly because of whatever backgrounds they have and troubles like that like they have their own school and everything it's amazing what they do and you know they go around to people's houses all the time it's just it's yeah. fantastic yeah another cool thing as well that i saw you were doing as well is uh like i know obviously you're putting yourself out there doing all the, this comedy like uh but like the two is of like great backstory as well how like you both overcame certain things in life like um, I saw one of your interviews. Like I, I, if I'm correct, like you, you, Steve, you were obviously in the car crash, and then um, Sinead, you, you like fell off a horse, and you both like re- like injured yourselves. So and then really, see at the end of the day, all you're doing is trying to put out content to make people feel better, like have a bit of crack, you know. So like you're actually yeah. doing it from a good place. Oh yeah, like initially when we started this, it was just for the crack. It was, you know. Well, I think the laugh. whole background of it is because while we were both, let's say, suffering and Shitty. recovering from our accidents like comedy was there whether it be in yeah. something small or something huge you laughing, have to laugh at meant... yourself and things and yeah you know, that's irish people tend to be self self deprecating it's just the way we are and you know when you're down you either laugh or you cry you know what i mean so it was the only oh. the only option that was really cute well, thank you <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, I, th- I think you like are obviously on the are on the first wave, and like people, the the new people that are creating content, obviously like loads of people are on TikTok. 
but like they'll look back and be like who were the people that like originally started it'll be like you Al Horn um, mm. Rory stories like these these Irish people were like are basically set the building blocks and started people doing it yeah, you know it's kind of weird now like when I first had a Facebook page I think I was the f- like one of the first like comedians that had yeah. a Facebook page and everyone laughed at sketches and you were looked upon as not a comedian 10 years open getting mics 20 like quid that. a week and fucking open mics and stuff now them same people like I've noticed that every comedian now is the Facebook page yeah. and a load of them are doing sketches now whereas they've yeah. pissed on it before you know what I mean and it's like and pissed on Sinead you know what I mean so it's like circles it's and all that I mean, fun we're, circle we're yeah, happy well, knowing space away for that so it's okay. yeah but now people are those people are probably going to open up for you as opposed to you're opening up for them as you were to do a ticket event you oh, tell no. the majority of the tickets <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. it is weird though these people we grew up watching as heroes and then you meet them and you're kind of like oh Jesus, you you came down a long way. You know what I mean? It's kind of really strange. Kind of like, and it, like the, the world of stand-up comedy is anyway is so toxic. It's not funny at all. It's oh. not. Okay, so what's it like in the comedy scene these days as well? Because obviously you've been everywhere, so you you see a lot of things. It's not comedic at all. <laughs> no, it's not funny. Ironically, everyone is <laughs> very toxic. People are very not bitter. everyone. Well, a lot. A lot of people, yeah. It's very backbiting and they're very, they can be very vicious to each other. Like, is it because, you know? would it be towards yourselves or because you it's, sort of can't, you did it your, no, your own way? Like, you'd hear things that they'd be saying behind your back and stuff, would you? Well, you know, it's just because we didn't have to do 10 years of open mics and beg people for spots for no money and stuff like that. We just, yeah. two years, Bicker Street done, sold out shows all over the UK done, you know. Yeah. That, it looks oh. very clicky. Is it clicky? I, Oh, very, oh, very tricky, tricky, yeah. 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 There's like groups that will only associate with certain promoters and stuff like that, and you can't get into their circle yeah. and blah blah blah. Not that we want to, but you know. But they're like the most comedians in Ireland are like that because there's three or four big promoters, and they are absolute dickheads, and we despise their existence. And they like, oh, come down, like you play in my club for free, and it's like a notch on your bedpost or something oh I've done the blah 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 club and you, you're meant to think that that's a and brilliant thing and they'll give you an old stupid festival for winning a competition and a hundred quid or something and it's like you're not going to get anything out of that and you've just slaved yourself for this person yeah. you know what I mean it's like well do your own thing have faith in yourself have a bit of belief if you think you can do it go and do it yourself you don't need to be like under the thumb of these like horrible bastards you know what I mean to put a point in do you think they're just? Do you think they're just a bit ignorant? Because obviously, like you have grown such a large audience that like they wouldn't really understand, you know. I think it's ignorance and it's a safety net for them too that they will constantly feel if they have the authority of one of these big promoters over them that they will get somewhere eventually. Yeah, they're always being led along the carriage and the stick kind of thing, and it's always like, "Oh, I'll get a big gig. I'll get a big gig." No, make your own gig. Yeah. Don't get a gig. Don't be you know, waiting on someone else to make it happen for you at the chance of him throwing you a slot at whatever festival. Go out and fucking do it. Yeah, cut do it your own. Hmm? Cut it, yeah, it's basically like cutting out the middleman. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. Or woman. Absolutely. Or woman. We're not or woman. Yeah. It's 2020. <laughs> no, that's the way it is. Women have the right to vote. They have the right to drive. They have the right to go to an Ulster <laughs> rugby, rugby party after and not be abused, you know. I saw, I, I, saw, I, saw, I, saw, I saw, by the way, you, you have a, a, a documentary coming out as well. I remember I sent you a DM saying, can you send us on the link? Uh, what's the update with that? Uh, there's kind of two at the moment, which is really weird. Yeah. There's one we don't... send us it. You have to send us it. Like, I really, really want to see it. Well, I can only send you the link for one of them. Okay. But it's not, it's not available yet. But it's... We're doing it's a... being entered in, like, flaws and film festivals and stuff, so it's not allowed to be released publicly. Okay. So we've done that Are one. Are you going to the flaw? Yeah, we did the Galway film fla. Yeah. With it. Um we did the Cork film fla. Um it's been entered into the IFTA something. Some IFTA thing or something. Mm. Which are we heard they're very nice people. That's what we heard now. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the Oscars for Ireland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the other documentary is still being filmed. It's a very, very long 
kind of drawn out one. So it's with TG Carr. It's that it's that documentary series. Uh, Finna. Yeah. Yeah. Fin. Finna. 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 Something like that. It was it was big last year for a lot of controversy. Um, the Gale Gores know what it is. I'm a yeah, Gale Gore, but I don't know what it is. She speaks that old. Irish or whatever yeah. you call it. What's I that? Know, she doesn't. The culture language. She does. She sounds like a Polish person. I after. speak Munster Irish. G.G. Carr speak Connacht Irish. Ah, Munster. Ah. Fake ass Irish. That's the only reason I won't give you your own gig there. Yeah. Politics yeah. will tell you. Yeah. What are the, it is what it is. What are, what are both documentaries about? Just for people that are just like very interested. Like Those are our, our accidents and... It's just our lives. Our in lives. General, yeah. And how we... Our fucked up beginnings and how we, I suppose, we kind of turned it around by accident, yeah. I suppose. Yeah. More or less. Yeah. Is Wayne Rooney in it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he's, <laughs> he's, he's hitting on Sinead all through it. Can I how? Can I how? No, I wish it was. Um, I've, like uh, obviously before we wrap things up, to, like thanks a million for coming on the show. But like, what else is there to look out for? I know you said the documentaries. Are you going to do in, like obviously the gigs? Are, you can't really be doing them right now. But have you got more more gigs lined up? And we are waiting for them to be postponed. But we Maybe are scheduled. writing so much right now, and we are creating so many new characters that are actually doing really really well for something that's not fair and Michael. And we also have an exciting and upcoming project that we cannot speak about. But um, yeah, just wait. I go on, go on, tell us. I'm, not go on. I'm opening up a whorehouse. Yeah. I'll tell you what? <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing. I thought if I missed Mrs. you might actually tell us. <laughs> um, no, but we've got a bit, we've got a bit coming and we're gonna another book as well, which will be gas, so. Yeah, you're basically I have one question for you. If me or Barry were to be uh, Farmer Michael or Kathleen, who'd be Farmer Michael and who'd be Kathleen? Um, <laughs> you'd be Michael Yeah. Barry would be Kathleen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's, he's more of a straight man. I didn't even have to think about it. And I don't mean that in what you think, you know. Just, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, can, also, like, I'm curious as well. Do, do you guys have a manager or do you, do you guys just run everything yourself? Because like, no, 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 we, we just do everything ourselves. We have um, help with the promotional side, but we are not yeah. managed. We like Kanye West. We cannot be managed. Yeah, we're unmanageable. Yeah. Like you said. We have promoters, but that's it. And a book publisher. No, yeah. Like, no, because like for people tuning in now, if they, like, because a lot of people that follow our stuff are like into the rugby or football or the combat sports, so like, it'd be cool to, for them to see two people like going for it and then just uh, like really making the most. Like, I, like we have it for modern stuff, and we have like people doing various little bits, but like I don't like that because I'm a control freak, so I like to arrange everything. Mm -hmm. I like to be checking on everything. I'm just a, I'm just that way, I suppose. Yeah. Now, in saying that, I can see you getting up at the if just saying. We had the best um, documentary of all time. Yeah. yeah. Especially when Taylor Swift wins. Yeah, yeah. us yeah. and Beyonce had the best documentary yeah. on Netflix, yeah. and that's it. What the fuck is this? Yeah. Damn, yeah, man. Okay. Inspiration for a generation. <laughs> well, guys, do you know, like, th thanks, man, for coming on the show. Um, when the documentary does come out, and if you're looking to promote it, we'd love to have you back on as well. That'd be oh, thank you so much. We would love Appreciate that. that. Thanks, man, guys. Yeah. Uh, and we love, we love Irish people doing well, so, like, go you yeah. guys. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you so much. And well done to the Keep it going. Lad. Keep it going. So, up the lads and up the ra. Okay, so thanks, <laughs> man, thanks, man, guys, for tuning in. Um, if you haven't checked out uh, uh, Sir Steve-O, Timothy, and Lady Nora stuff, you have to do it right now. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and as always, stay energized. Stay energized.